Okay guys, it's Dave again, HD Trucks and Equip in fabulous Henderson, Tennessee. And we're back at that 2010 International Workstar with the unitized asphalt patcher unit on it. Hey, I should mention, 2010, kind of keep that year in mind. Our experience is that when uh, they uh, went to death, as the federal government made them do, that's when they started having problem with the DT-466 in 2011. So 2010 and older seems to not have those issues. Obviously, this does not have death, so that's a good thing. Once again, you got your LP tank up on top up there for uh, keeping the asphalt hot inside there, keeping it warm so that you can spread it. As I understand it, this is the emulsion tank, or a lot of guys, I guess, are using diesel fuel in it, air compressor. These here are just for those little tanks right there. I am assuming that that's where you put your asphalt box, I guess, I don't know. Here's a nice little solid little area right there to put shovels and rakes and all that kind of good stuff on. I did not pull the, the pin, but you can see that the, uh, the, little, uh, the little elevator there for your, uh, for your uh, tamper would be 100% uh, functional. And not sure exactly what all these hoses and reels and everything are for. Here's your uh, auger system right here. And as that would be forward, this would be reverse. It all seems to do the stuff that it's supposed to do. So and I was just running these controls right here, forward and reverse. And then you got for the opening up on top to open up the doors. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, and the other side does open up once this one is all the way up. And then all you do is you just push it the other way to close it down again. I'm gonna take a picture up there. That tank is nice and clean. There's no big clumps in there. Don't see any issues with it. And once again, the light bar, perfectly functional. Um, don't know, I, I hear different sounds. So this is doing what it's supposed to do. It says air compressor, and that one says tool circuit, which I assume is to operate the uh, hydraulics right there, yep. And you can see by watching the hoses that when you do this, those hoses are jumping. So obviously they're getting the proper pressure. Um, gee, didn't even notice this one before. Not sure what that one is, so I don't think I'm gonna mess with it. There's uh, air blast wands on it. Here's your other little 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 storage compartments right there. And of course it does have the cool little strobe lights on it right there. Nice setup. That probably means something to you guys. That's uh, running uh, 220 pounds. That's running about 38 pounds. Uh, the one back there looks like it's running and, 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 uh, 200 pounds, so whatever that is, that's uh, apparently working properly. And you do have a nice little buyer's toolbox up there. It appears to be an operational condition, guys. You're the experts. I would suggest that you have somebody come that knows what they're doing. Please don't send somebody like me that doesn't know what they're doing. I don't want somebody to get hurt. Anyway, 2010 International Workstar. Nice, nice unit. Boy, that thing's ready to go to work. If you can use that truck, you just give me a call. My number right here is 602-510-5444. And once again, from HD Trucks and Equipment, Henderson, Tennessee, we thank you very much for looking.